uh, CrazyMan42 the bomb here, and I'm going to show you how to run Steam on Ubuntu Linux. Well, I just brought Steam up so I can show you how well it actually works. So this is Steam Fortress 2. I'm just gonna click play. Um, this part, I don't know why, but it takes a little while when it prepares to launch, but it will come up eventually. Probably. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, it might be a little bit slower since I have XVidCap running that's actually recording my desktop. And I have Audacity running recording my voice. Cool. You can see it. Little bar jumping up and down. Woo! Woo! Oh, it started. <laughs> uh. Okay, this black screen is completely normal. Not for this long. There we go. Okay, as you can see, I it's in windowed mode. I'll, I'll show you the commands that you have to do after. Mm, press escape. Now, one thing real quick. Uh, let me... Yeah, it's still recording. Still recording. I was just afraid that the lag caused by uh, Team Fortress 2 starting might crash my computer because I have all these other stuff running. Like, look at all this. I don't know why it's... why there's so much, I mean. But... apparently XVidCap needs it. And it doesn't even do anything. Oh, there we go. Cool music, yeah. Okay. So, I don't know why, but it always starts in a lower resolution than I want it to, but... I always change it to three si or 1360 by 768. And so, I'm not sure if I said this, but... My computer has a weird problem where every once in a while it'll just have sudden lag spikes. My ping will go up to 300 and everyone will teleport around. And You'll probably be able to see what I mean because it's kind of hard to explain, but yeah. I hope this is recording well because I heard somewhere that XVidCap doesn't record 3D very well. Oh well. At least you guys will be able to have the vague um, description of, or not descri description, like vague demonstration on, yeah. That'd be cool if there was like a fraps for Linux. <coughs> I bet I could make that work, but. Okay, retrieving server info. You know, I'm not even sure if it's going to do the lag spikes anymore because... Duh. Because I restarted my router and... Well, I used to be getting 10 bytes per second until I restarted my router. And now it's only uh, every once in a while just lag spikes. So maybe this time all the problems will go away. I don't know. Okay, sending client info. It used to crash at that step. Continue, continue. Oh, only one guy here. Too bad. Okay, so as you can see, it gets pretty good frame rates. And hold on.
I'm going to have to sign that part out. I don't want anyone hearing my address, but... So, as you can see, there's every once in a while lag spikes. But, for the most part, it works. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close Steam, exit out of it. And then I am going to go uninstall it, so I can actually begin the demonstration. Uninstall Wine Software. Add Remove Programs. Steam Remove. And then it will continue installation. And it has been successfully installed. What? Okay. Well, I guess we can't uninstall it like that. I guess we're going to... So, I guess this is good because... Well, I'm saying it, I guess, a lot. Hey, look, there's the file I'm making. So, we're going to have to go to... Control-H, dot, wine. Drive-C. Windows. Or not Windows. Program Files. And we're going to find the Steam folder. And so once we're in Steam, there should be an uninstall file. Duh, most programs have one. But I guess not. Whatever. Okay, so I guess the best thing we have is just deleting the folder. Okay, now that Steam is uninstalled, sorta, kinda, we can continue with the installation. Now, there's an easy and a hard way to do this. And I have nothing to... I mean, you can do it either way. The first way is supposed to... rid some errors that it gets. So, what I did is I went to Applications, Wine, and opened a program called Wine Tricks. So now, what you have to do... If you're in here, uh, I don't know why that's there. I think I thought it was deleted, but whatever. Uh, install game, I think it's under. Scroll down until you see. No, it wasn't under install game. It was install an app then. Or what? What? Okay, scroll down until you see Steam. It was already checked because it was already downloaded for me. And for you, it should say Valve 2010 Media Download. And for me, it said Cached because I already did this. So just press OK. Um, never mind. So first, uh, I just have to do this since I already had Steam installed. And so now there's no more Steam. So we can go back to install an app. Scroll down until you say see Steam. It's still cached. Select it. Okay. Just wait for it to load. And then it's going to bring up the installation wizard. I accept. Um. Hmm. And I usually get about over 2 megabytes. Somewhere around. Install. Okay, it's going to do its installation. And now it's working around some bugs. Installing core fonts. Disabling game overlay one. Disabling game overlay renderer. And okay. Uh, you can just close that. And wait for Steam to update. I always wonder what the old Steam would look like, but I'm not sure uh, how you would get to that. Uh, okay, so once it updates, you'll be greeted with the exact same screen you knew and loved when you started it. If you don't have an account, you should create a new one. PS3 players, you know the drill. Uh, I'm just going to log into my account. 
Oh, if this shows the password. Yay. It had a glitch one time that it showed the password. Wait, no. The asterisks were just messed up. Yeah. Okay, and then I'll connect to Steam. Takes five minutes just like it does on Windows. I say it runs better, actually. It's a little bit less stable, but it is faster. Or at least on my computer, but that's just my computer. I don't know. And I like the effects on Ubuntu. Like, uh, woohoo! Yeah! Woo! And then I got the. Woo! Woo! I'm getting really off topic now. And then you'll be greeted with the screen that everyone knows and loves Steam. Now I recommend it you do it. I recommend that you do it with um, the wine tricks. But if you really have to. Uh, you can just grab the Steam installer, Steam install the um, MSI. Right click on it, open with Wine Windows Program Loader, and that's it. I mean, I could show you an install video on how to install Team Fortress 2. Eh, I guess I will. So let me just open up this text file I had. Commands. Wait for it to get open. Okay, and then right here you have the two commands that you need, and the way you enter these, right click, properties, set launch options. I mean, I've only got, this is pretty much for source only, source games, so. The only one that has really special is you need, for TF2, it has to do with the rendering. You need DX level, and then there should be a space there, 81. And so you can just wait now. Copy and paste doesn't work with, through Wine for me. Uh, window just makes it into a windowed mode because whenever a game or something changes the resolution uh, to too low on my computer or to the wrong aspect ratio, it always crashes. So window windowed dash DX level eighty one. Okay. Close. Ooh, DLC. Cool. Huh. So as you can see, if you click that again, it opens back up. Close. This is going to end up filling up half my hard drive. And then all you have to do is press install. Next. Next. So that's it pretty much. Thanks and leave a comment.